Hello everyone, Ken here, back with another video where I review your projects, resumes, portfolios, and LinkedIn profiles. Special thanks to Darwin for submitting his GitHub today. I think that this is one of the most unique GitHub profiles we've seen, and it's organized in a very different way than a lot of the ones I've seen in the past. I think that this is one where you can really learn a lot from it, and I'm very, very excited to share it with you. It looks like this also landed Darwin a job, or it probably helped in, in getting him a job. So I think that there's a lot of, uh, I guess, validation to this approach as well. If you'd like to have your GitHub portfolio, your, your projects, your resume, or your LinkedIn reviewed by me, please comment below and let me know. Also shoot me an email at kenji.ds at gmail.com. So before I get into this one, there's two things I wanted to bring up. The first is I've seen a couple YouTubers, one of them being Trend Black, uh, asking, well, responding to comments at the end of the videos. I think that this is a good practice. And do you guys think that that would be useful to you? If you do think it'd be useful where I'd take comments that were really interesting questions that, that are relevant to everyone and respond at the end, uh, let me know if you think that that would be a good idea in the comment section below. I'm happy to start incorporating those into these videos. I think it would be a fun way to, to help people, um, you know, help respond to questions that would give value to a ton of people rather than just one-off responses in the comments. So again, uh, I'll still try and respond to almost every comment that I get, but that would be a really cool way to share the responses with you there. The second thing I'd like to bring up is the 66 Days of Data Initiative that's starting tomorrow. I'd love for you all to be a part of it, and I'll link the video associated with that above and below. I'll be starting a Discord server at the request of many of you to keep everyone accountable. So look for that to come out probably later today. I will make a community post and I will tweet about that as well. So without further ado, let's jump in to the project review here. So again, I think Darwin does some pretty awesome stuff here. He has one repo, but this makes it very easy for me to understand all of the work that he's done in total. Again, I would probably like to see him spice this up a little bit, maybe have links to his information, his LinkedIn, his email, whatever that might be. But as we get into this a little bit further, I think you guys will soon see why this is very, very impressive to begin with. So I've talked about how there's really two approaches to organizing a GitHub profile. So first you can have all of your repos there. Each project has a new repo. And then within that you have, uh, you can pin your, your best project to the top or you can use you know, one of the headers like uh, import data has put together so that you can link to your, your most relevant project at, at the top. In Darwin's case, he has one repo, but it's in a really elegant folder structure. So you can go through and see all of his work organized in a very efficient way. So if we click on this, we'll, we'll, it'll bring us to this page. And in it, he talks about all the different types of projects he has, all the types of different work, and also a little bit of background around himself and all of the places you can contact him. So I think that this, again, is a different way but it's still a very good way to organize your information. He, he makes it very easy for anyone, even though there's slightly more clicks, to go through and see exactly the types of projects that they wanna see. So we're gonna go through each of the different types of projects, each of the different type of, uh, I guess, presentations that he has here. And I'll, there really isn't, aren't, aren't really too many negative things to say. I just think that this, is again a really good thing to look at, uh, especially when considering how to approach presenting your information to a potential employer. So we're gonna go to the uh, Python personal programming projects. I think you might have uh, another kind of link here. So one thing he, he utilizes very well here is each folder can have a readme. So you can have information in almost every one of these different places uh, in, in the form of a readme down here. That's one thing that I don't see necessarily, well, very many people doing at all, is having a readme in each of the bigger folders to talk through what's happening in each of the folders. This is a, a very good practice. It might be a little extra work, but it, it is so important in understanding things and in documentation. This is some of the most detailed documentation I've ever seen. And detailed documentation, probably as much as your ability to program it, 
uh, is, is really important to employers. So let's go into the actual data science projects that he has here. Um, so in the data science projects folder, he has highlights of the, you know, the, the top level information on a couple of the projects he's most proud of. And then in all of the other areas, he has the scripts that he's done and also the software development work that he's done. So this page in and of itself is like a complete project resume, which I really, really like. He also has the project at a glance, which is exactly what you want when, you know, if you're an employer coming in and saying, okay, well, what has he done? What, what does this mean? I also really like this uh, student insight project where he's looking at the, I believe it's the grade distributions of people of different backgrounds, different ethnicities. I, I think that, I, I believe that Darwin is a physics student and I believe he's also a minority. So this project is very, very relevant to him and his understanding. I also believe he had mentioned in his about me statement that he's really looking and very interested in exploring the intersection of performance and you know racial uh, gender and racial gaps in student performance. So. To me, that's a, a project after his own interests that is very, very relevant to him. And doing projects, of course, that are, that are relevant to you or relevant to your interests or relevant to your hobbies are things that employers pick up on. And you generally do a better job on those. So let's actually go into that project and we'll look at the README. So if we go to the top, Again, this is a super, super detailed README. This is very much how you would see it in a research paper, but just with a lot more graphs. And I really, really like that. I mean, this is a very visual presentation. This is what we like to see. I also love that he has this too long didn't read section. That's almost exactly what I want to see as well. You can do that instead of a, uh, you know, a project summary or a summary of findings. Uh, really like this. He also in includes this kind of cool drop down menu, which I've never done. I kind of want to go in um, and look at, at what in, um, in Markdown allows you to do that. Very cool feature. So here's the introduction, motivation. Again, this is formulated very much like research would be. It looks very professional. The visuals are very good. Uh, I, I can't say enough you know, good things about, about how this is put together. Again. Uh, you know, maybe highlighting a little bit more of what the findings and the implications are, but I, I can't find really any faults with this. Uh, obviously, again, that this, this worked pretty well for him. The next thing I'd like to look at is his research. So we've talked about how to get experience. One of the best ways to get experience that'll make you credible in the job, in the data science job market is academic research under professor, under a professor. I have a, a video with uh, Tina Huang um, coming out pretty soon where she talks about her experience doing research and how that helped her land a job as well. So if you can't land an internship, always try and look for research. That is very legitimate experience. He also does a very good job writing about his research, showing what it was about, and, and you know clearly illustrating the value that it created. So. I, most people don't even include their research on their GitHub. They don't include that information. Absolutely include it. I mean, the more robust your GitHub profile is, the better in my opinion, especially if it's organized like this. The last thing that he has that I think makes him very unique is his work with Tableau. Tableau, if you're a student, I believe is free and you should absolutely capitalize on that. So Tableau, Tableau, Tableau Public is a place where you can share your visualizations that you create. It's very much like GitHub for visuals. And that is a great way to showcase your skills, your analytic skills there. I've had a couple people reach out about how do I showcase projects to become a data analyst or a business analyst. I think Tableau is one of the best places to do that and using Tableau, Tableau Public. I don't know why I have so much trouble saying Tableau. but. They have challenges every week. So there's a makeover Monday, they give you data and they want you to create something new. And apparently there's a workout Wednesday, which I didn't know about. He includes some highlights of all of the projects that he's done here. So I don't even have to go to his profile. I can look at this in his GitHub. I mean, these really stand out to me because this shows that he has some multi-dimensionality to him. 
he comes from a research background, a physics background. Some employers might think, oh, he might not have the business communication skills because he's heavily, in, you know, he's heavily involved in that. But to me, this shows that that is absolutely not the case. He can very clearly present this, <clears throat> this information. I think this is an awesome visual right here in and of itself. So again, this structure is a little bit different. This shows a few different ways that you can highlight relevant skills to employers. And I really have to commend Darwin here. I think he did a great job in setting up his portfolio. You know, it kind of uh, confuses you at first because you see only one folder there. But as you go and, and you get deeper and deeper into this process, this is just such an impressive display altogether. So I, I don't, again, really have anything um, to, to critique per se. Maybe aside from once you go to the initial page, having a little bit more information about him here. But great work, Darwin. I hope that this helps you all think about this product, you know, your GitHub differently. Um, there is no one size fits all to make a, a cool uh, or, or a relevant GitHub profile for employers. I think you have to really ponder what makes you unique, how you want to organize things that resonates well with you and might also resonate well with employers. So thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.